All right, so we'll go about, we're now going to put the Nest thermostat on. Quite often I use the uh, third generation. These are the most versatile thermostats of the Nest range that I personally find. But um, it, the wiring configuration is the same. So if, we, if we're just doing a one fan reverse cycle and we're engaging the reversing valve on heating, we're going to have a, a, a 24 volt going to RH a common into C, our compressor into Y1, our fan input is into G, and our, o, and our reversing valve or heat input is going into OB. So let's power up the, this thermostat, and we'll um, talk you through one of the parameter changes is we need to make sure that the, you've got set up for the equipment. So when, when we go setting up, a, if you're setting up a brand new thermostat, please watch one of our other videos on how to go about setting up a brand new video, uh, thermostat. But in this example, this we so we'll do, for the now we'll skip past the time and date. So what we want to do, we want to go down to the little cog into settings. And we want to scroll across to equipment. So into equipment. All right, so we work in here, we can see how we've got all the wires are, uh, are connected. So that means that all these buttons are depressed. If they're not depressed down, what happens is the, the, the Nest thermostat on the third generation won't pick up the, the cable and acknowledge that cable's been installed. All right, so let's move on to the next step. So we want to um, continue through. We want to go into Pro Setup, and we want to make sure that Sorry, let me focus on what I'm doing. Pro setup, go continue. Then we want to go in and make sure that the parameters for each cable are set up correctly. So, Y1, heat cool, electric, fan force, correct, yes. So, we're going to be engaging the fan when we bring on uh, Y1 or Y in, in heating or cooling. That is our compressor. The fan will then start, which is G. And in heating, we want to set this. If you have got a, um, a in Australia, the quite often where the the reversing valves engage for heating, we are going to be setting this to B. If you are like in America and you're having a, a, um, setting your reversing valve to energize on cooling, you'll set this to O. Then we have got our, our power and our common connected. So that means that all these now are set up correctly. We've got our wiring configurations set up correctly. Now we can move on um, with testing the equipment. So we go continue, we go into done, and then we then we can go across and we can engage now into, for this example, we can go into cooling. They will now engage their Y1 terminal and our G. And in, in heating, if we go to heating, um, there will be a time delay uh, on this, or we'll, we'll say a couple minute time delay before it allows us to start. But what will happen is when this goes illuminate orange, it's going to be in, in, energizing our Y1, our G, and our um, a B terminal. Now that B terminal will stay energized between, when it's set to, uh, when, when, the, when we, we take off the heating request. Um, if we go down into back to our settings, how do we make sure that's going to happen? Is we want to make sure that uh, um, we set our OB to seasonal. So let's go back into there. So we go continue. We want to go down to pro setup. We want to go continue. And when we go down to into here, this will engage this. We're getting it nice and close. You see how it says seasonal. So you have an option that it cycles each time, which is not what we want. We don't want to drop the reversing valve every time. We want it to only do seasonally. So that means, sorry, I'll go back into that. That means that it's only going to turn off the B terminal or that, that uh, the reversing valve on the change of mode, which is what we want. We don't want to be cycling the reversing valve too often. And that's how we do that. So if you, if you have any questions or having a problem with your setup, feel free to click on the link below or give us a call on 1300 966 464. For those who are outside of Australia, please click on the link below or email us at info at airconsolutions.com.au and look forward to helping you soon.